All right, so you have a function um, u, which is a function of x, and the log of u, if we take its derivative, is u primed over u. And uh, let's say, for example, we have a function of x, which happens to be 1 plus x squared to the power 6, 1 plus x cubed to the power 8, multiplied together, divided by 1 plus x to the fourth to the power 9. We'll call that y, just because it's less cumbersome than f of x. We'll and when we take the log of both sides, we find that we turn this very, very cumbersome uh, rational ex uh, function into a logarithmic function, which can be just added and subtracted uh, terms. So 6 times log of 1 plus x squared plus 8 times log of 1 plus x cubed minus lo 9 log 1 plus x to the fourth. I'll make the log of y, and then when we take the derivative of both sides, well, remember that's y primed over y, which means that we can simply just take the derivative of each of the terms, the derivative of 6 log 1 plus x squared, plus the derivative of 8 log 1 plus x to the cubed, minus the derivative of 9 log 1 plus x to the fourth, and we just write out our three rational functions. Um, as the result. Now remember this is just y primed over y. Now we got to multiply both sides by y. And we know what y is. It's right there on the on the near the top of the page. And if we rewrite y so that it's expanded to be f of x, then we can write the final answer uh, down as you see it uh, on the bottom line there. And that's y primed. And hence, we have taken a very cumbersome rational function and found its derivative using logs. So how neat is that? Um, try this again if you like. Uh, you know you can do this using the chain rule, the product rule, and the quotient rule all mixed up together. And uh, another way to do it, of course, is to simply simply, I don't know if it's that simple, but expand everything in sight so that um, then you do the division and as you can see it's probably going to be a lot harder.